A number of you have mentioned to me that you really want to work on balance and yoga in general will really help with balance. A lot of yoga postures and a lot of the movements and a lot of the core work really helps with balance. But in this video, I really wanted to focus uh, just on uh, not only how to balance, but uh, other things that you can do to help your balance. So the most important thing you can do to help with balance is really working on strengthening the core. Um, it really all starts right here. So it's just in order to, you know, move the legs and the hips and the feet more effectively, you really need to have sort of a, some strength in the core. So um, I'm going to be going through some things in this video that will work a little bit on the core, but different, uh, somewhat different than some things I've done before. But uh, if you're really looking to improve balance, don't only do this, but also do other core sequences. And I've got core videos uh, throughout the course at every level from the chair to the more advanced sequences. So. Um, so yeah, uh, so you will need a chair in this and you will also need a wall unless uh, you're really comfortable with balance and you can do tree pose uh, fairly easily. But uh, so starting off here, uh, we're just going to find a nice strong Tadasana, a nice mountain pose, standing pose. So um, just start by finding your feet on the floor really flat and solid. Lift up your toes, see if you can spread them out and place them back down. And just focus on your feet for a bit. Focus on the soles of your feet, maybe even close your eyes and just see if you can feel all four corners of your feet touching the ground, really coming down. So you're anchoring down through your inner arches and the outer arches and the front and the back. Uh, really feel your toes gripping the ground and your heels coming down into the ground. So just really feel solid in your feet. From there, uh, engage your quadriceps, engage your thighs, and then engage your core. Bring your shoulders back and down and make sure your neck is really long. So see if you can really stretch from all the way from your feet up through your head. So see if you can feel yourself growing taller. So your feet are really anchoring down. So moving from the core, stretching your legs down and moving from the core, from the base of the spine, making your spine as tall and long as you can. So just take a breath here. Again, if you need to keep your eyes open, that's great, but this is probably good with your eyes closed. So just see if you can feel your whole body and really feel the strength in your core and really feel your feet on the ground. So start to rock forward onto your toes. So shift your weight forward and then back onto your heels. And just do it as it feels okay. We're not going to do any serious balance now. We're just sort of finding where, what it feels like to shift our weight around. And then slowly just come back to center and just notice what that feels like. And now rock to your left and then your right. You don't have to do this very far. One of the things I'll be really going over throughout this is when you are balancing, you really need to keep your hips relatively strong so that you're not just uh, letting them sag, especially when you're balancing on one leg. If you're doing something like tree pose, it's important to keep your hip engaged on the standing leg. So as you're rocking from side to side a little bit here, I see if you can keep your hips nice and strong and, and also your core nice and strong. And again, coming back to center and blinking your eyes open. So we're going to start doing a couple core things that will relate to balance. And these are good exercises to do if, uh, if you're working on balance or otherwise they're good. So we're going to start off doing some side leg lifts. So stand with the chair 
in front of you with your left hand on the chair and see if you can just be really straight up and tall. So as we're doing this, we're going to lift the leg out to the side and you don't want to really sag in that right hip. See if you can, our left hip, see if you can keep that left hip nice and strong and your spine relatively straight as you bring your leg up away from the ground. So inhale up, exhale down. Maybe hand on your waist, wherever that feels comfortable. Inhale and exhale. It's hard not to move over a little bit towards the left side as you're doing this, but try to keep that minimal. Try to keep the movement relatively minimal. Your weight will have to shift in order to balance here. And we're looking to do about 10 or 12 of these, so I'm sort of lost count here as I'm talking, but uh, I think there's about 10 there. And bring that foot back down, feel both feet on the ground, feet maybe hip distance. So bring the chair to the other side, bring your feet closer together before we start these balancing things. If it's comfortable, just having your toes touching and the heels uh, apart a little bit. So again, on this side, really strong through the core, really nice and tall, and then lift your left leg up. Inhale up, exhale down. Really trying to extend through the spine. Keep the core engaged if you can. And this exercise is really working on strengthening the sides of the core here, the obliques. And those, so just working on all these muscles all the way around here will really help us. So back to center, bring that foot back on the ground. And again, just find your balance. So I'm going to turn the chair to the side now, just so you can see this part better. Um, and at this one, we're going to work on the psoas muscles. Um, so if you lift your knee up and then let it come back. So this will be engaging the psoas here and the, there's sort of a deeper muscle in the core and this brings it back. So just swing your leg back and forth. You don't necessarily have to do this one with the breath, just kind of a slow, even breath. And this one actually gets to be a little bit of a workout because uh, it takes a little bit of energy to swing the leg back and forth like this. We'll do it just for a little bit. Again, spine is really nice and tall. Core, it's a little bit harder to keep it engaged in the back part of this, but just think about uh, trying to be nice and solid through here. And then back to center. And then the other side, the right knee up and back. Just breathing and you can do this really slowly if you prefer. You don't have to be going at this pace, but just see if you can really bring that knee up. This will engage the psoas. And as you swing it back, it helps to stretch out the psoas a little bit. They're a muscle that gets really tight because we sit around all the time. So they can be simultaneously tight and weak. So it's really good to do things to work on the psoas. So back to center. So um, now we're gonna do uh, just a couple things in the chair. Uh, again, focusing on the core before we dive into uh, trying out a balancing posture. So sitting nice and tall in your chair and uh, Again, just really lifting up uh, through the spine. So almost like there's an imaginary string pulling up through the back of your head. So your chin will be slightly tucked down. Back of the neck is really long, shoulders back. Engage the core again here. Interlace your fingers behind your back. And we're just gonna do some seated crunches here. So inhale at the top and exhale down really trying to round the back. I'm sitting to the side here so you can see the rounding here and engage the core as you come down. So do a real isometric here. So inhale up, exhale down. Just 
So we keep going with those. I'm going to turn back this way. And next time you come up, just stay up at the top. Nice big inhale here. And then exhale, bring your right knee to, uh, I'm sorry, left knee to right elbow and back up. And then the other side. And you shouldn't have to work too much on an isometric here. This motion will really both engage the psoas as well as the obliques and other parts of the abs. This is a really good core exercise. And it's good on your ground too, doing something similar to this. So just one more on each side. And then release your hands, close your eyes for a second. Find your breath. So from here, uh, we're gonna stand up. And uh, I'd advise doing this part at least uh, near a wall or have a wall right behind you. So um, you want to be standing so that you can reach back fairly easily and just touch the wall. I'm going to stand away from the wall because uh, I think it'll be easier for you to see me. But with your hand standing against the wall, again, we're going to find a nice Tadasana, a nice mountain pose. So start off engaging the feet, lifting the toes, separating them, and placing your feet back down on the ground. And maybe bring your feet a little bit closer together than you're used to, because that'll really help as we come up to balance. Engage the thighs. Outsides of the feet should be roughly parallel to each other. Engage the core really strong through here. Shoulders back and down. Again, neck is long, really nice tall spine. So we're going to start working on balance. And while we do this, I want you to really think about keeping the hips solid, like I mentioned before. So the first thing you're going to do is just shift your weight over towards your left foot and see if you can just pull that right foot off the ground by lifting almost the, the leg up into the socket. So see if you can just hover your right foot just like a millimeter off the ground. Just bring it up if you can. And it might be difficult, but just use that intention of just putting all the weight on the left foot and lifting the right foot up. And then bring that back down. Slowly shift your weight over into the right foot. And again, this is where the wall comes in handy. So if you're having trouble balancing, just use the wall to support you in this. So on this side, really nice, strong right hip. And see if you can lift that left foot off the ground and hover it. So strong core really lifting up so your right foot is rooting down into the ground and you're lifting all the way up and then back down. So while we're doing these more difficult balancing things, we're going to start working on tree pose here. Really find a point of focus. Find a, in Sanskrit, it's called a dristi. So find something that's not moving in the room could just be a little spot on the carpet or a spot on the wall or whatever. Just something that you can focus on and just stare at that as you're trying to balance. And that'll really help. If your eyes are moving around, it's going to make it a lot more dif difficult to balance. So again, this is a good time to <laughs> have your hands on the wall. So we're going to start working on tree pose here. So if the wall's right behind you, you, you can try it without the wall, but just to, it's nice to have it there if you need it. So shift your weight over into your left foot again. Nice, strong left leg, left hip, nice, strong core. Find your dristi, really focusing on something. Lift your left, I'm sorry, lift your right heel off the ground. And if that feels comfortable, if that feels good, again, being strong through the core, strong through the hip. If you can do that, lift that foot up onto your left calf and just turn the knee out to the side and just hold that. As you're here in this, see again if you can just make yourself really tall. 
and see if you can keep this left hip from like sagging out too far to the side. It's a nice strong left hip. I'm focusing. So your core is strong, leg is strong. If you get more comfortable with tree pose, you can bring your foot up above the knee. Don't place your foot directly on the knee. Hand in prayer is a good place. To, if you're not needing the wall, this is a good way to balance here. Or you can throw your hands up overhead. <laughs> but one step at a time, just work with wherever you're at. These things get a lot easier the more you do them. And you see me struggling for my balance there. So it's just good to find whatever level feels okay and just work with that. And tomorrow it'll be a little bit easier. And the more you do core work, it'll get easier. So bringing that right foot back down. Feel both feet on the ground. Close your eyes for a second there and really feel your feet rooting down. Slowly shift your weight over into the right foot. Feel that line of energy, that strength going from your right foot anchoring down all the way up through your head. So really strong through the core, strong through the right leg. Slowly lift the left heel off the ground using the wall or maybe hands in prayer. And just See if you can find your balance here. Really strong right hip so you're not sagging over to the side. And then if you can, if it's available to try a little bit more, bring that left foot to the right calf. And again, trying to remind yourself to be really strong and tall, so lifting up anchoring down through your foot and lifting up through the head strong in the core abs are engaged and yeah so just hang out wherever you're finding your balance there and if it's not working today don't worry so much about it just try again this is easier if you are on a really solid surface, if you have on a really squishy carpet, or see, I just lost my balance there, or a really thick foam mat, uh, it might be a little bit more difficult. So it's better if you're doing it on like just sort of a nice solid floor with just a little bit of padding, maybe just a thinner yoga mat. So bringing that left foot back down, and again, let's just find Tadasana. So lifting your toes, spreading them out, placing them down on the ground. Engage the thighs, engage the core. Not so strong this time, a little bit more relaxed. Shoulders back and down. And just seeing if you can make yourself as tall as you can. And just once again, shift your weight towards your toes and then back towards your heels so just back and forth a little bit forward and back and then side to side all the while really staying strong in the core and trying to make yourself as tall as you can and then coming right back to the center, feeling what that feels like to just be in the center of your balanced state on both feet. And blink your eyes open. So there it is. Namaste. Um, and again, it's really important to just do core work and that will really, really help you in the long run being more balanced. So I will see you in the next lesson. Thank you.